Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Create Games, episode number two. The last one was about HTML, the very basics of HTML, and this will be about the very basics of CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Things a little bit into perspective, we need HTML and we need CSS and we need JavaScript and HTML5 actually. And this trio of things is what we deal with, mostly with JavaScript, but um, of course we need HTML uh, for the structure of the web page and we will need CSS, um, cascading style sheets, to do formatting of these elements over there. And I'm going to show how to do that in a couple of seconds. So let's go back to our little HTML example from the last episode. We saw that these things called tags um, define the structure of a web page. So to change the look of these paragraphs, for example, we add style. This by adding the attribute style, sorry, to the paragraph, and we insert properties to do the formatting. I take the property color for this example and I give that the value red and finish with a semicolon. So we have the property, a colon, the value of the property and the semicolon. Let's see how that lo looks. If I reload the web page you see that this um, the color changed to red. If I do something like reload again well then it's yellow so we can even add more attributes like font size and we give it the value 30 points finish with a semicolon again reload and you see well let's change the color again but change the this time we change the color in a different way. We activate this, right click, and we say inspect element. And something shows up that's called the developer tools. Uh, you can also activate them by um, doing this. And you want to remember this shortcut, by the way, because we're going to use this a lot more. So the nice thing here is that um, uh, if, you, if you do view page source, which you can do, of course, you can't change anything inside here because this is just the, the source and it's not changeable. Um, that's not the case in the developer tools. You can not only see the elements, but you can also change the values and the whole, for example, the whole text. You see that this changed. And now I change the color by editing the value of this property in the developer tools. This is an easy way to play around with the with the styles, for example, but also with, with the whole web page. I could have done the same thing here, but uh, the developer tools are very mighty, so um, that's totally out of scope of this thing, but just so you know, you can edit the, the text directly here. But if I reload the page, um, which I do with Command R, then of course we're back to yellow. And um, because now the page got reloaded from the hard disk and override and, and it did override of, of, the, of the values that I just entered in the developer tools. On developer, developer tools, you either choose uh, developer tools from the menu or uh, you do the shortcut and sometimes it's easier to just say inspect element because then you jump to the very um, line in, in the source code. Now you can add more attributes with more properties and um, uh, you probably noticed the, the, the whole line gets longer and longer so there's a second way to insert styles into your web page. So the idea is that if I want to have the same style 
in the other other paragraph I either copy and paste it which of course works but then you have the disadvantage of if you have several paragraphs you all you always need to write these these some um, uh, the, the, these lines these styles and uh, there is a better way to do that classes um, first of all we add in the header the style um, tag and there we define a so-called class by doing this see that the syntax in here is exactly the same as below here but we added the the um, curly braces and we added this dotted name so to address the paragraphs we need to give them a name which is class equals in our case my style and add this to both paragraphs and save. Let's see if that, that worked. Yes, it did. And you can see that I just by entering font size, uh, let's say 40 point, I influence both paragraphs in the same way. So instead of adding the styles directly to the paragraph, which I still could, um, I just say both have the same class and this style applies to all the paragraphs that I address like that. There's a second way to address tags in a web page. Um, you can give certain elements a distinct name. Let's say ID equals um, uh, first P. And you can address this very paragraph with a different syntax, which is like hash first p, curly braces again, and let's say we want to change the margin um, left, um, with 40 pixels, and we reload, then you see Sorry, I really loaded before, but you see that this um, th that this margin left um, space um, shows up. Just to make it more visible. So you can, to sum this up, you can address um, tags in your web page, HTML tags with. Um, either classes if you want to address several paragraphs or several um, tags at, a, at, a, at one time or you can address them by giving them a name with the ID um, attribute and um, by giving them a d distinct style that only applies to this very ID. So um, class corresponds to this dot style syntax and id corresponds to this hash style syntax just to recap from our html we have these tags and these tags can be um, enhanced by adding attributes id and class being and style being three of them and in these styles you can have properties and these properties can have values Also, the HTML tags in general do the structure of the web page of your web document and the styles do the formatting of the tags in there. So that's how HTML and CSS play together. And in the next episode, we're going to, we're going to cover JavaScript. See you then. Thank you.